Today's sponsor is brought to you by BetterHelp. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P. Do you guys need someone to talk to? I'm going to be honest, I think we all do. But uh, growing up, I've always struggled with anxiety, so I've seen therapists for it. They've always been helpful with teaching me how to live my life and not let my anxieties take over. BetterHelp has licensed professional counselors who specialize in many matters, and everything is done online where you can have confidential video calls, phone calls, or even text messages, all from the comfort of your own home. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that is BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Outspoken. Angie's List is now Angie. Summer is the perfect time to book your next home project. From lawn care to a new patio, Angie makes it simple to connect with pros who can get the job done right. See reviews, upfront pricing, and instantly book hundreds of projects. Plus, when you book and pay through Angie, we'll cover your project up to the full purchase price, plus limited damage protection, with our happiness guarantee. Check out Angie.com, and for more on the happiness guarantee, go to Angie.com forward slash happiness hyphen guarantee dot htm. Hey, what's up? Welcome to episode 29. I've outspoken. We've got a lot of trans topics congratulations you're welcome so our topics today the first one up for discussion today we're going to be talking about taylor kniff and nikita dragon if you guys haven't heard anything about it wow 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 i'm not i'm not shocked so i don't know why i'm saying wow and then after that i gotta just i gotta show you this reddit this reddit post about me it is it is golden it has to do with trisha paytas uh, and people just being really mad at me but i just want to share it with you because it was really really funny I kind of show you how to deal with hate when you get it you know you you're supposed to cry about it just kidding yeah let's check let's check out the taylor kniff situation so if you guys don't know well if you don't know what magcon was because you weren't on the internet or you just didn't care it was meet and greet convention that's what it stood for so there was a group of viners if you remember vine it was an app where you could create videos back in the day so there was this group of viners who ended up going on this MagCon tour and they made themselves a group, like a group of content creators. So these guys specialized in comedy on Vine or whatever. The girls loved them. They were a huge thing. They were one of the first tours, successful tours or whatever. And there was like, and there was O2L as well. And there was a couple of others, but MagCon was pretty big. So there was a lot of people on it. Sean Mendez was on MagCon and now he's Sean Mendez. Right? Well, he's always been Sean Mendez, but he's the Sean Mendez. So after the whole MagCon thing, you know, people either went up or they went down. Like, they did great things, or they just became irrelevant. And I feel like Taylor Kniff was one of the people who became irrelevant and fell off. He does only fans now, which is fine and can bring some relevancy back up. Recently, what he did is he posted on his close friends list and on Instagram. So only his friends could see what he posted and it was a video it was a video far away i'll play it for you you can hear what he's saying but it's with nikita with a couple of guys i don't know if it's security i guess it's taylor's friend because that's what he's saying but they're going into a car and i don't know why taylor's like in the background watching i don't, I don't know it's kind of weird but here listen to the clip here my boy's hooking up with a guy right tonight he said fuck it I'm hooking up with a man. I don't give a shit. I'm down bad right now. I'm down tremendous. Uh, <laughs> okay. So that was the first clip. Okay, he's like, yo, like my man's down bad or whatever. Like, Taylor Kniff, you're down bad. How are you even going to say that? <laughs> what? Okay, this, so then he, sa he says this. And I tell a security guard, I'm like, yo, bro, like, it's none of my business. But, like, I just, I just don't, I feel like you guys are just, like, a crazy fact that you guys wouldn't know. Like, did you guys know that that was, that's a dude? Um... And they they absolutely looked like they I looked like I just threw a, a stun grenade in the in the back of the security lounge there. They're like, bro, what? I'm like, yeah, that was a, a dude. And they could not believe it. And they're like, bro, our boy John needs to get a phone call right now. I hate when people say this type of stuff because they want a shock factor. Like, oh yo, that was that's a dude. Yo, she's a dude. And it's like, okay, and you were attracted to her five minutes ago. So, like, now you want to act like it's all disgusting or whatever. But when you're a trans person, you're trans. I don't know how many times I have to say that and ever, but people don't understand the basics of how that works. Like, yeah, she did transition from man to woman. But that's what it is like to come out as trans. You're telling people that information as, and you're pretending like, it's shocking information. But then again, Taylor Kniff isn't very bright. And this is what Nikita had to say about it. She posted it on her Instagram. 
This is what it's like to be trans. My livelihood is constantly threatened by just living my life as a trans person. And I'm so embarrassed to even be showing this video, but it's reality. It's what's really fucking happening in the world. I try to be strong for you guys and hold my head up high and act like I'm not terrified that something like this will happen to me. This is how trans people die. This is how trans people die. It just takes that one ignorant transphobic comment to threaten my entire livelihood. And more so than that, I fear for the people that are with me. The fact that it was just a guy friend helping me get into a car and all of a sudden this man wanted to video it, make fun of the guy who was helping me, tell the security guards about it. Like his life is now threatened as well. This time it was me. Next time it could be somebody else, somebody not as lucky. We must stop trans hate because it leads to trans violence and people lose their lives. Or even worse, they take their own lives because experiencing things like this just breaks my heart and my entire world and it's disgusting and I won't stand for it. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Yup, she couldn't have said that better at all. That was perfect. And the thing is, you would think that that is like, people would think that's a dramatic response, but it is so true and it is so real like him saying that definitely could have put her life in danger for sure a thousand percent because people hate trans people like they they hate them so much that they will go out of their way to do things to them and the funny thing is like uh, he put it on his close friends list so only his close friends can see his transphobia like you know that it wasn't right in the beginning that's why you posted it to close friends because you didn't want it to be interpreted or perceived by other people so you thought you could hide behind your close friends list i don't think people are going to stand for that if they're good people are going to be like yo bro like that's pretty shitty and then show it to her so that's that's what ended up happening and i'm just going to read you a couple of these tweets uh that went back and forth between them because Taylor doesn't make any sense at all, and it's just really funny. Uh, and then he made an apology video. Today's sponsor is brought to you by BetterHelp. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P. Do you guys need someone to talk to? Gonna be honest, I think we all do. But uh, growing up, I've always struggled with anxiety, so I've seen therapists for it. They've always been helpful with teaching me how to live my life and not let my anxieties take over. BetterHelp has licensed professional counselors who specialize in many matters such as anxiety, depression, relationships, family conflicts, LGBTQ matters, and many more. By the way, you can start communicating within 48 hours of signing up with a counselor. And everything is done online where you can have confidential video calls, phone calls, or even text messages, all from the comfort of your own home. BetterHelp is more affordable than traditional offline counseling, and you can also get financial aid. Their service is also available worldwide for anybody who needs it. I want you to start living a happier life today. So as a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash outspoken. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that is betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash outspoken. By the way, today's episode is sponsored by Native. Sometimes it rains on your birthday. Sometimes the line for coffee wraps around the building. Sometimes gas goes up by 10 cents. Sometimes life stinks. The good news... You don't have to, because Native has your back. Native cares about the products you put on your body. They're all about stopping the stink the right way, and that's the Native difference. When I first saw this brand, I was really excited because I love products like this that actually care about what you put into your body. You can get their deodorant and body wash and amazing scents like coconut and vanilla, citrus and herbal musk, lavender and rose, and more. I recently got their charcoal scent and deodorant and I love it. It smells amazing. So just a suggestion out there for some of you. They also have a new plastic free deodorant. You've probably seen some of these on the shelves, but it's in a paper wrapping instead of a plastic regular deodorant stick wrapping. You probably already know about Native's amazing aluminum free deodorant, but have you tried their body wash, their toothpaste, or their brand new mineral based sunscreen? Yeah, Native now has a broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen for your face and your body. It's lightweight, it absorbs quickly, and you can choose between unscented or coconut and pineapple. So so stay fresh, stay clean with Native by going to nativedo.com slash out or use promo code out at checkout and get 20% off your first order. That's nativedo.com slash out or use promo code out at checkout for 20% off your first order. Which is the icing on the cake, which is the extra icing. There already was enough icing. Check out these tweets, okay? So Nikita tweeted and said, this man is on his live saying that I'm doing this for clout and that he's bisexual. Sir, you haven't been relevant since MagCon. Sit your transphobic ass down. It's sad I even gave you any kind of attention. 
See, I told you he, he wasn't relevant since Matt gone. It wasn't just me who noticed, okay? So, he, yeah, after this, after all of this dropped, he went on live. And, like, it's so funny because it's the whole, I'm not transphobic, I'm gay. That, that, that doesn't even correlate at all. That doesn't make any sense. You can even be trans and be transphobic. Like, you can still, you can hate yourself and other trans people, but still be transgender. I've done it. <laughs> I was there. Okay, so it's it's confirmed. My source is trust me. Anyway, so she, can you, t t t yeah, that's what she did. She uh, continued tweeting and said, I fear even being around a man as a trans woman, let alone date one publicly. His life is now at risk for being involved with a trans woman. It's so sad. Oh wait, but, but before that she said, trans lives are constantly under attack. Simply living your life becomes a threat to the ignorant. A simple misgender or side comment could cost us our lives. Taylor quote tweeted her, he, re he replied and he said, you want me to leak some real info? You've been doing this 2015? He can't even write a coherent sentence. He hasn't ever been able to, even back in the MagCon days, I don't know why. And then he said, you would hate that. You changed to trending seasons, dot, dot, dot. Keep changing for clout. I speak facts. What I said was facts. He's saying he can he can leak some shit from 2015. That has nothing to do with anything. I mean, go Whatever, go ahead, leak it. But we're talking about how you were transphobic, not the stuff that she has done. It's like you got called out for being a piece of shit. And now you're trying to defend your point with like screenshots from six years ago about something now i just want to let you know before we watch taylor's apology video i want to show you something he got canceled for back in magcon days because i specifically remember this and he said something homophobic i don't think it was satire i know that he joked around a lot but he made this video and it made a lot of people upset hey guys i'm just gonna give you my thoughts on the big discussion right now is gay rights and gay people um i'm just like christian beatles which he got in a bunch of trouble for this but i don't have anything against gay people, I just think what they do and how they make love and whatnot is just, how do I say this, it's fucked up, it's really fucked up and disgusting, guy on guy, especially girl on girl, I can understand, and I don't have nothing against you guys, but it's just, it's not, it's just disgusting, I mean, I can't even get girlfriends, but I owe me, I'm gonna go gay, I mean, what the fuck? So that was something that he got backlash for back in the day, obviously, for obvious reasons, right? Um, and now, now he came out as bisexual, I guess. So, see, you can still be like bisexual and st <laughs> still be bisexual phobic. Okay, it does work like that. <sighs> so let's listen to the apology video, okay, and get through the whole thing with me. I think it's only four minutes. Let's give it a listen. All right, let's see if there's a redemption arc here that we can we can have with with good old Taylor Kniff. Alrighty. Well, I thought my boy was down bad, but unfortunately I'm the one down bad here. What's up, YouTube? I know it's been a long time. It's been, you know, like, I, you know, I don't even try anymore. And now I gotta come on here and make a YouTube video about this, and, and it is quite ridiculous. So yeah, it's obvious you guys want more context of kind of like what's going on and how this happened. Like, it doesn't even make sense from your guys' side. Uh, it for sure doesn't make fucking sense to me. I'm gonna be straight up honest, it makes no sense to me. Um, the internet is one of the softest places in the world right now, more softer than a, a tempur mattress. This dude is such a terrible comedian. Um, I think he considered himself a comedian at one point in his career, but it's so bad. I know I make bad jokes, but they're on purpose. A tempur mattress isn't soft. It's like a firm mattress, isn't it? It's like a memory foam mattress. It's not that soft. It's not as soft as other beds, so I don't... <laughs> I know that has nothing to do with the video, but... Also... What? Did he just call the internet soft? Wait, so the internet's soft because they don't put up with transphobia? <laughs> That's what you consider soft? At this point to me, but uh, if you guys don't know, there's this thing on Instagram called close friends, right? And basically you can select certain people that you're close with to put on this list and you can upload stories where only they can view it. And the general public can't view it. Um, on this day, I was in Miami enjoying myself with all of my friends, um, having a good time. Uh, I was tore up. I was at 11 this night. I was throwing wands. I was going crazy up in the strip club, having a good old jolly time. And as I was coming out, uh, I filmed a video of Nikita Dragon, which you guys have all seen. I think it's her most viral video she's uploaded, and she's started this whole train of hate. Uh, go ruin Taylor Kniff life, basically, uh, train. This is such a terrible way to handle 
backlash from something you did first of all we can do like a critical analysis of the apology video he's way too emotional over this right now he's way he's super angry like his little comments um <clears throat> like, like the, the internet is softer than a tempur mattress and I don't, I don't fucking understand that it's not like i guess he's probably not really trying to I mean, I, maybe he is trying to save his public image. Not really. He probably just posted this video for the views, if we're being honest. I don't think it's going to be a genuine apology. But really hostile coming off in the beginning. We're going to rate this out of 10, by the way, for apology videos. My one issue with the, the close friend stuff is, is that was for a select group of people that I wanted to see the video. And I didn't think anything was wrong with that video. Um, and I guess the one thing that is wrong with that video is that I called her a man. Um, which is, you know... It's difficult, you know, it's, it's really no way for me to win in this situation. It's really just a lose-lose situation. So if there was nothing truly wrong, if he didn't believe there was anything truly wrong about posting that video, he wouldn't have just shared it with his close friends. Why would he just share it with a select? He only wanted some people to see it. Okay, dude, you know why you only wanted some people to see it. Because you knew if you posted it on the internet, you'd get called out for your transphobia. But guess what? You did anyways by your close friends. How do you like that one? But, I, you know, I felt like, you know, people needed more facts. So, like, as I said, it was uploaded to my close friends. It wasn't for anyone else to see, just my friends. But I guess someone who was close, and I know who this person is, and they know who they are, um, uploaded it and sent it to Nikita and uh, ran with it from there. Uh, I offered to apologize. Uh, the ladies that were upset off my close friends, I even apologized to them. I said, yo, my bad. I shouldn't have uploaded it. This, that, and the other. Uh, I was just looking out for the bros. Like, that's what I was doing. And just making a little joke for my close friends for 60 people. That was that was the, the context of it. Yo, I'm just looking out for the bros by standing, like, 50 feet away and being like, yo, that's yo, that's a fucking dude. My, my, my boy's down bad right now. What are you talking about, dude? No, they're down up. I mean, <laughs> they're up. <laughs> they're up good. All right? They're not, you're down bad. My good friend, I already said that you're down bad, but you, you are down bad. Also, he was just helping her to the car. Also, when he says he's looking out for the bros, like, why would you have to look out for them? If they want to get with whoever they want to get with, that's fine. Plus, she's, like, publicly out online. And she's a huge name. People are gonna know. <laughs> and, like, trans people tell people. You get most get given most of the time uh, due to safety reasons if they're going to do something with someone they will tell them so they don't get beat the fuck up uh what it's turned into now a whole campaign um and everything and, and her saying that i put her her life in danger you guys don't even want to know what i'm receiving right now from death threats to telling my to go kill myself uh i'm going to show you guys just a couple of examples right here This is so funny. This is such a horrible way to handle this. This is like, if I was to do a tutorial, I didn't fart, that was my chair. See, if I was to do a tutorial on how to not apologize, this would be the video I go off of. He's saying, well, she said her life's in danger. Well, look at mine. I got one email telling me to kill your slef. That's what the title says. That's what the, the subject of the email says. Kill your slef. Yeah, it's not good to get threats on the internet. I get them. Everyone gets them. A lot of creators get them. But there's a difference when you're saying that out loud in public about a trans woman when there's a bunch of people around who don't know, who might not know and who don't know her and who hate trans people. You are putting her life in danger because people will go out of their way to get her because she's trans. Like, I can't. Someone needs to help him. Please, someone help Taylor Kniff. <laughs> Anyways, the email says and it's just one email that he showed one threat you know he got it he you should see the amount of threats he got it's one email and it says i'm gonna give you a trigger warning it it does say kys all right so skip ahead like 20 30 seconds if you don't want to hear it but she said you're so effing embarrassing go kys you transphobe that's not gonna make you cute or hot it's gonna make you look like an effing idiot I'm not, I'm not gonna read the rest of that actually but choke on a dick the rest of it is a little explicit but yeah that was that was the death threat that he received which is not which is not a death threat essentially it's actually just and i i get those comments probably every day so um i don't know what to tell you mr taylor and my next thing comes is the 
a homophobe, that I'm a homophobe and that I'm transphobic. Well, I got news for you. Let's just grab a clip real fast off the internet when you type in Taylor Kinnett real fast. It's a boxing. Oh! He actually just kissed oh. him. <laughs> well, as you guys can tell from that clip right there, I can't be very homophobic. You know, I, I really can't. Like, that's clear evidence for you that's already been posted before this ever happened. Yeah, so this dude just pulled up a clip of him kissing face bangs. He's another YouTuber. Just a quick little peck, which doesn't, like... <laughs> That's like hugging a trans person and saying I'm not transphobic. See, I hugged him. I'm not transphobic. Um, and obviously I've already dealt with these issues with like uh, Tana Mongolia. I think that's how I say her last name. I've been hanging out with her for over the course of the last five months. She also called me out for this same thing. She's now one of my great friends. They know that I'm not actually transphobic, nor do I have, you know, anyone can be whoever they want to be. It was a simple video of me just simply saying my boy's down bad. I don't think he knows he's hooking up with a, you know, that where it's at but either way and, and what's even crazier if you guys were on my OnlyFans and like all my close supporters know this right yo can if just say something like if you were on my OnlyFans right now and watching what I've been posting over the course of the last six months you would know I'm one not transphobic and I'm definitely not homophobic so it's like that's what's crazy to me but like that's not the stuff I'm gonna post like it's exclusive content okay if you check out my art my OnlyFans fans know this okay if you check out my OnlyFans, I'm doing gay shit. Some. Some. And you know what? Maybe we slip in a trans or two sometimes, okay? So I'm not transphobic. I'm not homophobic. I touch those people. I can't po- that c I couldn't possibly be. So that's what's wild to me. To Nikita, I apologize for calling you a, a, a dude. Obviously, I need to be more um, informed on what's going on. And stuff like that but you know I was just looking out for the boys I thought it was comedy I thought it was funny obviously I'm the one now down bad um, so yeah either way I left the link to my OnlyFans so if you want to go check that out you're more than welcome to uh, the next hundred subscribers you get 60% off <laughs> you down bad bro <laughs> that's too good that's too good uh, I was just looking out for the boys you know thought it was comedy his uh, he doesn't know what comedy is is the re there's there's still a whole minute left here? I wonder if it's just him promoting OnlyFans. Let me hold on. Let me see. So go. Obviously, I'm gonna link myself. You wanted to use this for clout and run with it. Um, you're still running with it, as I can see. So I'm gonna do my part. I'm the number one male already on OnlyFans. Now I'm double, triple, number one on OnlyFans. So obviously, I wanna leave off here. Let everyone know. Um, I have no issues with anyone being trans, anyone being uh, you know gay. I I don't have an issue with it. Do whatever the hell you want with your life. I'm going to leave with that. Do whatever the hell you want with your life. There is absolutely no way Taylor Kniff is the number one male on OnlyFans. There is no way. I don't even, I don't even believe that for a second. I don't even. Me uploading funny content to my close friends, to my just close friends to do, would be fine. It was the fact that I'm Taylor Kniff. That's where the fact is. Uh, if anyone else posted this, I mean, obviously a celebrity or whatever, but if like a regular person posted this, she would have never made it a huge issue. She obviously don't like me. Her friends don't like me. So this dude is pulling stuff out of his ass. I'm the number one on OnlyFans. All right. I'm the top one, but subscribe to me, please. I have to promote it during this entire situation because, because I just need to. Angie's List is now Angie. Summer is the perfect time to book your next home project. From lawn care to a new patio, Angie makes it simple to connect with pros who can get the job done right. See reviews, upfront pricing, and instantly book hundreds of projects. Plus, when you book and pay through Angie, we'll cover your project up to the full purchase price plus limited damage protection with our happiness guarantee. Check out Angie.com and for more on the happiness guarantee, go to Angie.com forward slash happiness hyphen guarantee dot htm. This episode is brought to you by Progressive. Progressive helps you get a great rate on car insurance, even if it's not with them. They have this nifty comparison tool that puts rates side by side, so you choose a rate and coverages that work for you. So, let's say you're interested in lowering your rate on your car insurance. Visit Progressive.com to get a quote with all the coverages you want. You'll see Progressive's rate, and then their tool will provide options from other companies, all lined up and easy to compare so that all you have to do is choose the rate and coverages you like. Progressive gives you options so you can make the best choice for you. You could be looking forward to saving money in the very near future. More money for, say, a pair of noise-canceling headphones, an Instapot, more puzzles, whatever brings you joy. Get a quote today at Progressive.com. 
It's one small step you can do today that could make a big impact on your budget tomorrow. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Comparison rates not available in all states or situations. Prices vary based on how you buy. For Ogilvy and Ikea, this is a 60-second stereo radio spot titled Thank You Home, code number YIKA0983. Home. You were a lot more than just a home this year. Thank you for letting me eat all those meals at my desk or take all those morning meetings from bed. Make the office chair my midday nap spot, our area rug my yoga mat, and our closets into storage for all our anxiety shopping. Yeah, you wore a lot of hats. Well, we mostly wore sweatpants, which now have their very own dresser drawer thanks to you. I know it wasn't always great. We accidentally killed a lot of plants, learned a lot of really bad dance moves, relearned a lot of fourth grade math, spent a whole month rearranging the office furniture every day, but you always gave us space to sleep it off. So thank you, home. At IKEA, we think home deserves more credit for staying organized even when life is messy, for keeping us energized, for boosting our calm. Home does a lot for you, which is why we want to do more for your home. Find new home office, bedroom, and organization solutions at IKEA. Like, I'm number one, but still, please sub to me. Please sub. Please gift a sub. And by the way, it's 60% off. And also, the reason that Nikita would respond to that um, and see it, because you do you do have followers. You do still have some followers left. That's why it's an issue because people are following you and consuming your content. Um, even if it is the 60 friends on your friends list. That's where it's at. But below will be the link to my OnlyFans. I love YouTube. And uh, I think you guys wanted me to be sad, crying, apology. You're not going to get that out of me. I'm out of here. Yo, you got those other strippers for downstairs? Yeah, then he gets up and leaves in a huff and a puff. You're not going to see me cry, whatever, dude. So, yeah, this apology is rated 0 out of 10. I, I was trying to be generous with it. But um, especially the ending, you are not supposed to be all huffing and puffing about the whole situation. That is how to cancel yourself even further. Cancel yourself even further, 101 with Taylor Kniff. This video has 37,000 views in one week with 376 thumbs up and 5.6 thousand thumbs down. Just wanted to point out the statistics because I think they speak for themselves. That didn't surprise me because I've seen his content for years since MadCon and stuff. Um, he just seems like the same person, I guess. I don't, I don't really know. But uh, horrible, horrible apology. I'll show you how to do a good apology video one day. Or actually, oh, wait a second. I already did about Trisha Paytas, okay? So my cousin brought up to me today, actually. She saw this Reddit post about me. It's from two months ago, and it's about, it's about the video I made about Trisha Paytas. So if you don't know, I'm going to give you a quick little thing. I made an apology video saying I was wrong about Trisha Paytas. And I know there's a lot of controversy around their name and everything like that. But it, I, that has nothing to do with anything that I'm going to be talking about. I posted, Trisha Paytas came out as a trans man, I, I think it was about a year ago. And I posted a video about it. And I said, Trisha isn't trans because X, Y, and Z. And then I made fun of the video and I was like, ha ha ha, this is so stupid. You're not trans and you're not trans basically what i said so a year later i reflected on that and i was like wait that's kind of shitty i want to retract that statement and apologize for the things that i said because it was out of line and the whole video you can go ahead and watch it if you like i just kind of criticized myself for making fun of trisha and saying that they're not trans it had nothing to do with trisha's controversies or trisha as a person and stuff like that by no way do i defend anything that they have done or anything that they have said i i've seen it i know I've seen it, but it was more about showing people, hey, you shouldn't make fun of other people's identities because it's not very nice. And I didn't want people to think that my page wasn't, I didn't want people to think that I only saw trans in a specific way. I did back in the day, but my, my views have changed. And I just wanted to let people know, hey, I was wrong. We shouldn't do that to people. Um, now that is totally separate from who Trisha is as a person. Whole, whole different subject. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Anyways, <laughs> this, oh man. Title here in the subreddit says, why the F is Sam Collins supporting Trisha Paytas? First, when with the first sentence, that's not what I did. That That's, I'm, well, I'm supporting Trisha's identity, but I'm not supporting Trisha as a whole. That's where this, this is where it's down the drain. Listen, I love the guy. 
Love his content and I overall generally support him. Thanks, dude. But this video he made, the fuck? They have come out as identifying as a chicken nugget, faked DID, faked being a gay trans man, has identified as black, but people just now are somehow conveniently taking this whole non-binary crap they're pulling off seriously. That is literally the easiest of all those things to fake and they have zero intention to transition. They're going to continue to live their life completely like a cis woman, doesn't have dysphoria. No, not liking your 42G chest doesn't count. But now they're just slapping on they to be trendy. They came out as a gay trans man and people were calling them out on their bullshit. Then the second they changed it to non-binary, people magically did a 180. How the heck are people actually taking them seriously? If you compare them to an actual transsexual or an actual non-binary person, they would be nothing alike. It infuriates me that the DID community and the black POC community are defended from their disrespect and appropriation, but not the trans community because, as usual, the woke too cute don't, don't give a shit about us. First of all, <laughs> uh, I appreciate the feedback. Feedback is always great. But sometimes people don't understand like the, the message that I was trying to send. First of all, you can still be trans and not transition. If I didn't transition, I would still feel the exact same way that I do. But I could continue to live life as a, as a woman if I wanted to uh, because of multiple reasons. People will do that for multiple reasons. Um, too difficult. They have health issues. They won't pass. Uh, their family will hate them. They're scared of, you know, dying maybe. And really with the car and and being beaten up there's there's there is so many reasons that a trans person won't actually transition or detransitions uh, literally so many i could detransition and i would still feel the same way like if i detransition because of health reasons i i, I would still be trans because that's just how that's how it is that's how i feel some of the top comments the trans community has gone to shit and it just keeps getting worse. At this point, I can't wait to transition and hopefully be able to go stealth, but I feel bad for people who do not have the privilege to do so and for young people who are going to get fucked from the repercussions. I mean, that's not a very bad comment. That's kind of a vague comment to post on why is Sam Collins supporting Trisha Paytas. Someone else said it just goes to show how little people understand what non-binary is. People understand binary trans people well enough to know that there is no way Trisha could be a trans man unless she was severely repressing herself. But they don't understand that non-binary people are more similar to binary trans people than to people who are simply gender non-conforming. Wow, the mental gymnastics I'm doing right now. People think that anyone can be non-binary, and it's just a shorthand way to say that you don't like gender roles. They don't recognize that you need dysphoria and a desire to be rid of your sex characters, just like with binary transsexualism. Good God, I feel terrible for the actual non-binary people who are endlessly drowned out by people like Trisha Paytas. I'm pretty sure, see, I'm not non-binary, so I can't, like, the point here where it says they don't recognize that you need dysphoria and a desire to be rid of your sex characteristics, just like with binary transsexualism. Uh, there is so many binary trans people who don't want to have surgery. That's a thing. You don't have to have surgery to like be trans. I can't believe people still are in this mindset. You know, surgery is scary for a lot of people, right? Or they don't want to have complications, the possible complications, because when you go through surgery, some things can be messed up or they can go great. You want to take that risk? That's your own body. You could do as you want with it, dude, you know? This isn't, I don't know. I don't think it shows how little people understand what non-binary is. And my video wasn't understanding what non-binary is anyways. It was apologizing about basically about bullying Trisha Paytas. It wasn't basically, it was bullying. I just saw that video too. People really just let the non-binary label be appropriated so badly. I'm so sorry for actual non-binaries here who have to deal with stuff like this. Trisha's now acting like non-binary didn't exist at the time of the video. But in the video itself, Trisha literally said, quote unquote, I don't like they slash them. I think it's for plural people or something like that. In the video, Sam said that Trisha will serve as a valuable NB representation. And I just don't think Trisha is the representation non-binary teens need. <laughs> I did say that. I did say that Trisha, this is good for um, NB representation. What I meant by that is it's good that there is a public figure who is as large as Trisha who is explaining how they feel and stuff like that because it'll resonate with other people. I thought it, it was good um, because Trisha 
still has followers and all of that stuff. So then the OP replied to that and said, she's not just poor representation. She's a completely blatant lie to what non-binary people are. And she's actively harming them by making it seem like a label anyone can adopt. Yeah, there's a lot of bad things that Trisha has done. I have no way ever defended what they've done. Not for a second. Then the other guy replied and said, yep. And for Sam, an actual trans man to put his stamp on it shows cis people that this is what non-binary is. Bad rep isn't just annoying. You're right. It actively harms people. <laughs> uh, and the OP said it's so frustrating to see actual trans people. Well, I'm, I'm flattered that you guys think I'm an actual trans. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't, don't gotta get don't gotta get me all excited there this is the leg that they stand on when they're defending a point they're like well uh you're a trans man who wears skirts and hasn't had top surgery so you're making us look bad because now they think that's what we do they think we wear skirts they think we don't want to have top surgery well we do People are going to dislike trans people regardless like if you have surgery or not and not everyone's going everyone's different so if, the, if a person thinks that all trans men wear skirts, that's their own perception and that's their own thoughts. And you, what are you going to do to change that? Make YouTube videos about it every day? So like in their free time, they're going to go watch a video about how you don't wear a skirt. They're not going to do that. Somebody replied and said, Sam said that? In what possible way would she be valuable representation after all she has done? She's still very anti-Semitic, and it really disgusts me how all of a sudden people are excusing everything that she's done. I just want you all to know I didn't do that. I didn't, I didn't excuse anything. He even said it in my video. Um, I, don't, I really just don't think these people watch the video. I used to love Sam, but now I feel like he's jumped on the bandwagon of pretending to be a too cute because he's scared of getting cancelled. This is really funny to me because I'm not scared of getting cancelled. I'm scared of harming the trans community with bullying other trans people or bullying anyone's identity in general. The thing with this situation is it was a year ago before I posted this this most recent video. I mean, nobody was talking about it. Nobody was saying like, uh, why hasn't Sam apologized about that? Trisha paid his video from a year ago. You are canceled. You suck. No one, everyone loved those videos. Those videos have a lot of likes and a lot of comments like supporting the video. And other trans creators made videos as well like that and every, everyone loved them, you know? But I was sitting here a year later and I watched those videos because I go back and I look at my old videos sometimes to um, just see my growth as a person. And I was like, ah, that's not very nice. I think I'm going to apologize for this to show people that it wasn't very nice. Nobody was asking for it. I wasn't getting canceled for it. The videos weren't even essentially that harsh. I could have been a lot more harsh. Yeah, that was that's what I had to say about that. Another dude replied and said, I know, right? What the fuck is with all the mainstream YouTubers who are trans suddenly supporting this BS? They sure weren't a year ago. And someone said, just making content to fill their pockets. The income aspect may be the sole motivator. Gotta make money no matter who gets unfairly thrown under the bus. <laughs> that's so funny. The comment about the mainstream YouTubers not being this way a year ago is really funny to me because in a year, you know, people grow with time. So that's what I did. I grew as an adult. Some people don't grow. Some people stay the same and they think the same their whole life. But as I learned and as I got older, um, I grew and I disagreed with the opinions I had before. It happens literally every year, at least for me. When I learn new information, my opinions change on things. So that's kind of what happened. And the income aspect had nothing to do with it. The income is has been, has been very similar <laughs> to my years prior. So it's very funny that people think people will do this for money, Ash, or whatever. And I mean, they don't know me. I, I really could care less about the income aspect. If I wanted to do that, I'd go crazy on the internet. I'd do what Gabby Hanna's doing if I wanted money, but um, I don't. I really don't care. This comment's really funny, and I'm going to end it with this comment because I don't want it to be too long. But uh, someone goes, yeah, I don't know what is up with him. To be honest, I stopped following him a while ago when he said on Twitter that neo-pronouns are rad or something like that. I don't know what happened and why every trans YouTuber did such a 180. It's ridiculous and honestly sad. And they said, yeah, I found the tweet. What a joke. Wait, wait, this tweet has like so, so many likes. Yeah, I tweeted neo-pronoun rights 
in January of this year and it has 13,000 likes. And just for reference, my tweets get between one and 2,000 likes. So like, clearly it was a popular opinion. Well, I got to do a whole video about neo pronouns one of these days, but I just, I, I don't care if people use neo pronouns because I have better things to worry about, like um, anti-trans bills being passed or trans people being harassed and beaten in the street or trans people losing their rights. So I don't really have the mental capacity to tell people what to do with their pronouns. I would rather put that focus into something that makes more sense. Um, or picking on a transphobe, for example, and sharing it on my channel just to show people, hey, these people are assholes. And I'd rather tear down the people, I'd rather tear down the people who hate us than the people who are resonating with us and who are us. I really don't care if someone uses a neo pronoun. I think it's weird that that makes people angry, that I don't care. I don't, I, it's, it's, if that person wants to be called whatever they want to be called, I can't really tell them to not do that, you know, cause it's, that's their life. <laughs> you can say you don't respect it to them, whatever but if i if i sit here and say that it's wrong because of x y and z they're not gonna change and also i don't want them to change do what you want to do dude I, I i don't care and then in the sub we had some people defending me too which is hey thanks for that everybody but um <laughs> sorry i'm falling asleep over here <clears throat> I figured I'd share that subreddit with you just because it was interesting whenever i see hate about me or just uh, negative feedback about me I, I do like to read it if it's actual feedback and, it, and it's disagreeing with me like I, I respect that a lot like it's fine everyone has their opinions of course you know actual hate and misinformation is can be super annoying so i just wanted to put that out there too uh, if anyone was having any thoughts on that whole situation um i didn't defend trisha i just want to tell people that bullying is not cool don't do it so Let's end the podcast with our two LGBT stories here, okay? I've got a funny one here. And it says, My dad and I went grocery shopping and there was this little old lady that wouldn't stop staring at me. I wasn't surprised because I usually have people look at me in public because I'm trans, FTM, and I dress emo. I was also holding hands with my girlfriend at the time when this old lady started praying for my girlfriend and me as we walked by. A little later, we ran into her again in a different aisle. She then came up to us and told us that God loves us and that it's not too late for us to both be straight again because being gay is a sin. She also told me that I'm a devil worshiper because of how I dress. My girlfriend and I just stood there as she was telling us these things. When the old lady finally left us alone, we just laughed at what happened and carried on with our day. I can't believe that this is a real thing. People actually do this and they do it a lot. It's so odd. <laughs> it's concerning. If someone came up and said something like that to me, I would burst out laughing in their face. I wouldn't even be able to help it. I would probably spit on them by accident. Like I would laugh so hard that spit comes out of my mouth. Unless I'm wearing a mask, obviously. This next story says, Dear YouTuber, how are you? We have a proposal to you. Oh, that's not a story. I'm just kidding. I knew that that wasn't actually a story. It's funny. I don't know. The business emails sometimes make me laugh. That The, the email was funny. Sometimes I get business emails that... um have me contact they want me to contact their whatsapp number and i think it's so funny i don't know that that's that's a weird business email why am i contacting your whatsapp why is there not like a like a professional email yeah i'm actually just gonna leave you there with that one story because i'm piling up some lgbtq stories for an episode i want to make a special episode of all of them so ah, man i am so tired and it is so hot in my room. I've been, I don't even know how long it's been. I haven't had the AC on. So I'm going to go now. And uh, hey, thanks for listening to the video. I appreciate it. Um, or listening to the podcast, actually. Next episode is episode 30. I can't believe it's been so many episodes. So hey, thanks for staying this long. I appreciate all of you so much. I hope you have a great day. And I will see you next week with a new episode. Bye. Angie's List is now Angie. Summer is the perfect time to book your next home project. From lawn care to a new patio, Angie makes it simple to connect with pros who can get the job done right. See reviews, upfront pricing, and instantly book hundreds of projects. Plus, when you book and pay through Angie, we'll cover your project up to the full purchase price plus limited damage protection with our happiness guarantee. Check out Angie.com and for more on the happiness guarantee, go to Angie.com forward slash happiness hyphen guarantee dot htm. A lot of us are looking for ways to start our day feeling more joy and appreciation. And while some of us write gratitude lists or do yoga, 
Others pour themselves a bowl of their favorite cereal, Honey Nut Cheerios. Because not only are Honey Nut Cheerios delicious, they can help lower cholesterol as part of a heart-healthy diet. So maybe the secret to a great mood all day is a little yoga. Then writing your gratitude list over a bowl of Honey Nut Cheerios. Learn more about a heart-healthy lifestyle at Cheerios.com.